Hello guys, ladies, welcome back to audiobook. Strategy 2.5, avoid the sea lie. Why for this? The sea lie of the habit demons. Every time we break a commitment and fall back into a bad habit, we have bought into one of the sea lie of the habit demons. Think back to when you started a bad habit. Think about what happened to every alcoholic who fall out of the wagon or every person who gained back the weight she lost, or all the people who waste for piles of time dealing with issues. They once had under control. These three lies, rare they actually had, we buy into them, then fall. Life one, once will be enough. Just have one beer, one smoke, one dessert. Any time you hear anything inside that sound like this, it is live one. Is one beer enough for an alcoholic? No. One is too many and a thousand is not enough. Whenever we hear once or just the time, let a red flag remind you about the happy demon lives. Lie two. Miss it up good. When you give in to lie number one, and do something you know you shouldn't, then lie number two kick, kick in. Now that you've blown it, messed it up good, it looked like this for someone trying to control the bad habit of eating late at night. Just have one piece of pie, one little piece can't hurt you. You deserve just one small piece. So you can cut yourself a piece soon afterward, you hear lie number two. Well, now you've done it. You might as well have another piece, wooden another piece, test great. You already blown it, so why not mess it up good? Go ahead, have another piece, and why not top it off with some vanilla ice cream so you give in and feel terrible. Then comes line number three. We eat the final stage of the loss of control. Line number three, give up. By giving in, doing what you did not want to do, you feel terrible. You have messed it up good. Now the natural progression is to stop trying, simply give up. What this lie tries to get you to say is, I'm worthless, I'm hopeless, I will never be able to control my habits. I'll give, I quit trying, reject or see lie. They are false. One is really enough. If you are tempted to do something wrong, one check out if it's not the first or the three lie. If you do mess something up, don't mess it up worse. You don't have to go any further. You can resume control. It's a side that control now. Never believe lie number three. Never quit trying. You have immense value and you are never hopeless. The winner in life recognize and repute the lie of habit demons. Jim Zaki, a man who has uh, had a tremendous impact on my life, once said, no man is a loser until he quit trying. Chapter 3 Goal Magic The Ultimate Tool for Financial Success Chapter 3 Goal Magic The Ultimate Tool for Financial Success Helen Keller was one asked, Is there anything worse than being blind? She replied, Yes, the most pathetic person in the world is someone who has sight. But no reason, Miss Keller was very perspective. Many people have aspirations and dreams, but prefer to sit and do nothing instead of planning their fulfillment. We have the power to control our destiny, the key is having goals and tracking them diligently, enough to see them come to fruition. I don't agree with Peter Thomas when he had success in the entertainment of a predetermined goal failure in non-attainment. 
As long as you are moving in the direction of your goals, you are a success in my view. If you are moving in the right direction, then you will do well in life. As in a psychiatrist, if patients on psychiatric boards have clearly defined goals and know exactly what you want out of life, I think you can imagine what the answer will be. Ask the manager or top producing sales force the same question. You will discover that the most successful people in business in life practice goal setting as a regular part of living. In his book, Man Search for Meaning, Victor Frank, the successor of Zimak Proud, a Jew that the loss of hope and courage can have a deadly effect on man. As a result of his experiences in a Nazi concentration camp, Franco contends that when a man no longer possesses a motive for living and no further to look for work, he curls up in the corners and dies. Any attempt to restore a man in a strain in camp, he writes, had first to succeed in showing him some future goal. I have no intention in spending time on psychiatric board, but I do want to be counted a high achiever in life, it makes good sense to set goals as the winners do. We live in a busy world. Many people confuse activity with accomplishment. Many of us are so busy, we find it difficult to stop long enough to ponder such things. We can never achieve success in life without first considering where we want to go. We wouldn't set sail on the ocean hoping to get somewhere. Why set goal? The FBI went into one town to investigate the work of what appeared to be Zabsutter. They were amazed to find many bull eyes drawn on various targets with bullets that had penetrated an exact center of the targets. When they finally found the man who had been doing the shooting, they asked him what is his secret was. The answer was simple. He shot the bullet first and threw the bullet eye letters in application. Do we allow our activity to determine our goals or do we have our goals determine our activities? A bumper sticker read, Don't follow me, I'm lost too. You can accomplish a lot in life get your eyes on what you want. Don't think of the reason you can't have something. Focus in how on how, remember what Warren Buffett said. Speaking to a group of students, the billionaire made his statement about their potential to succeed in life. Everybody here has the ability absolutely to do anything I do and might be on some of you will and some of you won't. For the one who won, it will be because you get in your own way, not because the world doesn't allow you. Strategy 3.1 Make a list of why you think so few people get goal. Now that you have considered the benefit of goal setting, give some thought to why do you, you think people, perhaps even yourself, do not make a consistent practice in their life. I think the reason uh, people do not set goal is, okay, so you write down, buddy, write down what you think about that, this point. Goals, they keep you focused. They give you something for which to aim. They keep the loose and idea flowing. They give you enthusiasm. They chart the boss, your course in life. They give you purpose. They help you stay productive. They give you charity in decision making. They provide a measuring stick for considering ideas. They help you stay organized. They help you sell yourself to others. They help you chat your productivity and effectiveness. They will make your boss happy, your boss happy. When you feel good, who making you feel good? You are, but you simply have a rule that says you had to wait until A, B, 
and see occur before you allow yourself to feel good. Why wait? Tony Rubin. Strategy 3.2. Ask yourself the what if question. How would you answer the ultimate what if question? If I had to live my life over, what would I do differently? Dr. Asuni Kambolo, professor of sociology at Eastern College S.T. David, Penn, Pennsylvania, shared the result of a survey where 50 people 95, 95 years and older were asked. If you could live your life over what would you do differently, the answer surprised me. The old folks said that if you could live the life over, they would. Number one, they played more. These seniors said they would take the time to think about what was going on and live their life along well thought out priority. They would contemplate the meaning of life, family, work, and much more. Number two, risk more. The wonderful report said that they would have taken more chances in, in life if they could relive their lives, they wouldn't be so scared to take risks. They would have developed more courage to venture out of their comfort zone. Number three, do things that would outlast them. They wanted to know their life counted for something. That long after they left his world, their impact would somehow live on. We all can learn something from these people about setting goals. Consider what they said are, uh, you said, the core for your life. Strategy 3.3. .3. Create your heart, desire, dream list. Get away from all the distraction of life and choose a quiet spot where you will not be interrupted. Finish the sentence at the top of heart desire. Work it, I say. If I had unlimited money, time, talent, ability, and support from any family, here what I would do with my life. Then create your dream list. Have your spouse, have your spouse, partner, or children fill them out too. This will be very special time for your relationship. Relax and let the ideas, idea pour into your mind. Don't evaluate your potential for achieving each item you write. What you write will excite you and inspire you. It may make you laugh. It will motivate you most of all. It will help you consider your hard desire idea may come slowly at first, but with persistent hesitation will give you a speed and exciting your heart had desire, no matter what anyone say. You can have your heart desire. You are not bad for wanting to achieve your goal. Well, it's a good thing, and you are deserving it success for you. All of us have had desire, the first step of turning the dream into reality is to get those dream out in front of you where you can see and feel them. 95 people out of the 100 settle for whatever they get, wishing they had more, all the way from the cradle to the, the casket, never understanding that they could actually have all they wanted, Bob Proctor. Your heart desire works it. If I had unlimited money, time, talent, ability, and support from my family, hear what I would do with my life. Dreamly, so you write down about your dream here, okay? 